name is Chris Yates, and I'm the Vice President of QP Local 2361. We're striking uh, because the 330 uh, caretaking, uh, skilled trades, uh, landscape services technicians, and uh, arena operators, uh, we're looking for a fair deal. Uh, we've been living with suppressed wages for the last uh, decade that haven't kept up with inflation, and then inflation ran rampant, and uh, we're so far behind uh, other local market uh, competitors that we're having Western's having a really hard time attracting and retaining enough staff to do the the work we do on campus to keep the campus uh, safe, clean, and accessible for the students and for the campus community. Nice. Have there been any deals or negotiations with the administration of Western yet? Uh, negotiations uh, broke off on the Wednesday uh, before the strike started. Uh, we've made a, a counter offer to the employer and the employer stepped away from the table and we haven't heard from them since. What are you hoping to see on that deal? What we've been asking for all along, just wages that are competitive with, with other competitors in our market. We're not asking to be number one, we're just asking to be in the mix so that we can attract and retain more staff to do the much needed work here at the campus that we do. And do you feel supported by your union? Oh, we're very supportive by our union. Uh, our local uh, has been organizing and we're, uh, we're, a, we're a good bunch. Everyone's uh, spirits are up. And uh, we really just want to get back to work on campus here, uh, supporting the students that have arrived for another year here at Western. People can, uh, can write in, can call in to the university administration, letting them know that they want them to get back to the table uh, with a deal that we can negotiate to get these workers back on campus. Uh, you've seen our flyers around. There's a QR code on there. If you, if you don't want to compose your own email, there's one there that you can send. It's canned. Uh, share that with your friends and your family. Uh, make sure you get the word out there about uncleanly, unsafe conditions on campus as well because so far uh, Western is trying to hide it with scab laborers, but they don't have enough and they don't know what they're doing. And can you tell me a bit about the workers who, are, who have come in, in place for you guys? Uh, all I can tell you is that Western has hired these workers uh, from different contracting agencies as far as I know. I have no idea what their experience is. I don't know what their background checks have been. Uh, I'm honestly a little bit worried about them being around students on campus because we have no idea what kind of uh, background checks or police checks they've had. And we've already heard reports that they really don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to use any of the equipment. Uh, there have been uh, messes left on campus since day one. I just want to send out thank you very much to everyone who's been honking, who's been supporting us, who's been dropping by our lines, bringing some coffee, bringing some treats, trying to keep the spirits up of, of the picketers. You know, we don't want to be out here, but we have to get our message out. We're only 330 people against a billion dollar corporation in the University of Western Ontario, and we, we really appreciate the campus community's support and the support of the London as a whole.